Gaffer's still plenty of time in this season to go and still in a position whereby you can challenge. How did you see that today? Um, I thought we were lethargic. I thought we looked uh, very slow in our play first half. Um, Wimbledon made us kick it long too much. Um, we weren't... Uh, what's the word? I wouldn't say brave because I've got full belief in the change room, but I thought we, 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 we got sucked into playing a little bit long, kicking the ball and, and, and probably with not much great quality, to be honest. Um, but second half, I thought we were excellent. I thought we were good. I thought the two midfield players were excellent, Forrester and De Silva Lopez. I thought young Lewis Freestone done well, considering he hasn't played a game in the first team all year. Um, to step into that environment, um, to play against Lyle Taylor uh, for most of the game until we changed the, the, the shape, um, I thought he'd done very well. Um, and I thought there was only going to be one team who was going to win it second half. Um, we're just lacking that little bit of, bit of belief at the minute in terms of round, round the goal and... I mean, the goal summed it up. Our, our goal was a clever little bit of play, but then we got a little bit selfish again. Um, you know, around that goal, we just weren't finding that last little pass that was going to split them open to win the game. Um, but we still believe. We've got firm belief in this change room. I think, um, you know, we, we've we've got four draws in a row. We're disappointed with that, but we know we're, um, we're there's there's a long way to go. There's 13 games to go. Um, we're still within reach of the playoffs. Six points. Uh, with two games in hand, uh, you know, and we've got another huge one coming up on Tuesday. Yeah, losing Andrew Hughes to injury wasn't ideal, I guess, in the preparation because you haven't really got. I know Lewis came in and did very well, but there's not much depth in, in that particular area of the pitch. I guess that's one player that you wouldn't have lost in terms of injury. Yeah, Hughes is Hughes is a big player for us, but I thought Lewis came in and done well. I thought he'd done very, very well. Um, losing Taff at half time as well to his to a hamstring injury. Um, we'll assess him over the weekend. Uh, we don't think it's too bad, um, but we'll see how he is uh, regarding Tuesday. Um, so we had to make a change there, which which gives us a less uh, less of a chance to to bring a, a Cooper or a Ward on, you know, from from the bench or, or a Doherty, you know, just try and try and try and win as the game. But um, yeah, that was disappointing at half time. We had to make a change in half, but tails the tails come on done well. Um, so listen, we're still positive. Um, you know, I just said to the boys, disappointed another four draws. The boys are down. Pick them up again, um, and we got to keep believing that we can that we can get there, and I think we will. Yeah, they did show character today, of course, having gone one 0 down so late on. I, I guess it could have been easy to fold, but they they went again and obviously got that level. And as you say, a few chances towards the end where it's yeah. bobbling around a bit, and you just want it to to get, land at the feet of someone. Yeah, bobbling around is a good word. The pitch was very very dry, um, but we just didn't pick we just didn't pick the the, the right pass at the end, um, and, and some of the moves. Um, it was a great goal we scored though. Great great pass from Jack Marriott. Great play from Forrester first and foremost. Great play from Marriott and a tremendous finish from Madison. So. Um, always pleased with that goal. It just shows that we can, you know, create chances and, and be proactive in that in that side of the game. But just disappointed that we didn't see the game and, and kill the game off at the end. We had chances. Danny Lloyd had a good chance. Chris Forrester had a good chance. Omar Bogle had a couple of good chances. Um, I think if one team was going to win, it was going to be us. Um, but we didn't get over the line, and now we have to try and do that on Tuesday. Yeah, looked lively, Omar Bogle, when he came on. He did, yeah. I think it took him a, it took him five or ten minutes to warm up. It's 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 difficult, you know, coming on for us from a sub, but. Um, Listen, when he, when he got into the game, he, he got a hold of the ball, he, he got us up the pitch more um, and we started to create more chances with him on the pitch. So it was, uh, yeah, Omar, he's been, he's been excellent um, since he's been here. He hasn't had the opportunities but because of the way we're playing and because of Marriott's form. But um, no, he'll be a big player for us today in the season. Yeah, and also, as you say, on Tuesday is one of the games in hand and one you're really looking forward to, I guess. Yeah, I mean, listen, a game in hand, it'll put us three points behind. Um, I think it's Plymouth who've dropped in there, come up into the playoffs and the run they've been on. So... Um, it's a catalyst for us now. You know, we know what we've got to do. Um, everything's in our hands, and we've got to, we've got to be the ones that, that go and do it. You know, nobody else is going to do it for us. We can't be relying on anybody else. Um, you know, we, 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 I mean, it's it's so it's so close, isn't it, in terms of turning our season into a really really good one. Um, and we'll still believe the, the group in the change room are really really disappointed with drawing again, um, especially at home. You know, but um, we 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 have to readjust, regroup, and then go again on Tuesday.